Okay, so in this scaling question, and the question is trying to address your understanding of how volume scales with linear dimension, and set in the context of filling a large tub with uh, water. So you're told that you you have to fill this large tub by using a small bucket, and it ends up taking 12 of these buckets to fill the tub. So I might refer to this original bucket as bucket A. So I can imagine that bucket A, I'll give this bucket a height of h and a radius r. And we know that the volume of the tub is equal to 12, 12 times the volume of this particular bucket. And your friend has to complete the same task the next day, but their bucket is only half as small, so half the height and half the radius. And how many of those buckets would I need to take to fill the tub? I'll call that uh, bucket B. So it's a smaller bucket. So it only has a H over 2 and a radius of R over 2. So we know that the volume of the tub is equal to 12 times the volume of bucket A. And we're interested in how many buckets, which I'll just use as a variable x, of the volume of bucket B. So basically trying to solve for bucket, uh, solve for, for this value, this uh, quantity x. So I would have 12 times the volume of A, which is just the volume of a cylinder, pi r squared h. Again, showing you the volume depends, in this case, on uh, uh, two linear dimensions, but one of them is squared. So this is sort of linked to volume being proportional to L cubed. And then this is equal to x times the volume of B. But this would be pi um, r over 2, all to be squared, times h over 2. So if we remove those parentheses, we would end up with pi r squared over 4 times h over 2. And this 4 times 2 would leave us 1 over 8. So we'd have 1 over 8 pi r squared h. And then I can cancel out those quantities, pi on both sides, or um, this should be a square there, sorry, this should be a square there, so get rid of that r squared. And then it should be cancel out to h, so I would have 12 is equal to x over 8, which means that x is equal to 8 times 12, which is 96. So that would be a long task, but that would take, um, because the volume of the second bucket, or the dimensions of the second bucket, are only half as much, half both in the height and half in the radius, um, and volume scales with L cubed, and because the, the ratio is proportional to the same, one half of these linear dimensions leads us to one half cubed, which is only one eighth, so it only has, the small bucket only has one eighth of the volume, so it would take eight times more, eight times more uh, uh, fills. So if it takes twelve for the larger bucket, it would take uh, eight times twelve to give us ninety-six uh, individual fills from the smaller bucket to fill the tub.